yesterday made 16 years of marriage. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no, I'm not 40. I'm 45. I'm just 35. Yes, you know what that means, sir? I got married at age 19. Yeah. So I see so many people here who are past 19. I'm seeing some people who love to talk about courting. I see people court for five or six years. I'm married one year and divorce. I see some people who like the Jews and who never knew each other. And the parents them choose the spouse. And depending on how much coal the other father has. And it's the day they meet each other and they have to do it on a white sheet to ensure that the females are marriage. And they marry till them old, they live till them old. So what I said, I met my wife in February and I got married in December. <laughs> You know what I mean, sir? No. That mean I didn't really know her. Yes, true. I didn't know her before February. I just met her at a church in February. She was standing by herself. And I passed her just standing by. Yeah. Williams. And I just went like this. Williams. Why are you standing by yourself? I said that's that. That's that's the one. Why are you standing by yourself? And she's smiling. You know she's smiling. I don't have any friends, like, you know, I just came by myself to the concert. So I asked her, which church you go to? She said, I go to your father's church, Bishop Edwards, you should know if I was my friend. Bishop R.J. Edwards. And I said, which one? Because there's three, three, four, five, five branches. So I wanted to know which one, because it was the church coming together, but our church was too small, so we get a bigger church. And she said, the one that you go to, so in my mind, I'm like, so how many never see you? <laughs> well, she was a very quiet person, she was always at the back. No, that day, I didn't see somebody that I was looking I wanted to familiarize myself with. It was just my nature. I'm a person to just reach out. I see this lady standing by herself, and why standing by herself? It was months after we became friends, play basketball around our community and I used to stop by, just stop. We didn't have a relationship like boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. It was like one day I just realized I should treat me and be with me. And the only girls in the church always like how the pastor pick me and all them things. <laughs> and some of them because you can't sing and all them things and you know them so for, for people were more likely in you because of you are past every Sunday because you can't sing. But they never like you because of you, you. Maybe if you were not, maybe they probably. And she liked me even though she didn't care about me singing. Like other girls say, like, can you sing a song for me? <laughs> she never even asked me to sing for her. So I guess my voice was not important. And it was one day, out of the blues, sir. She's two years older than me, she don't look that good. But I asked her if she'd have married to somebody like me. And she said, yes! <laughs> no! We were not in a relationship. You see how weird it is? We were not in a relationship. And I don't know why I felt like sharing this testimony. But I believe that there's a lot of people who are waiting on the right moment to get married. Yes. Our situation was that she was the only person working. As a matter of fact, I repeated in high school twice because my school kept me back. They wanted me to do the, the sex with music and so forth. So I repeated twice and I used to rush past our supermarket that she used to manage. And, and I, I didn't want her to see me in my khaki clothes because I didn't want her to know that I was younger than her. And I was still going to school. So I used to go home and change my clothes and come back from the Spanish town. You know what I mean? And what happened is that after a while, I mean, she got the story short, we got married, we couldn't afford to buy a TV, sir. We used to listen to the AM radio, 
So when everybody got me, see the sneak in the car, come to one body city. And the man said, Jeremy, you need to come and sing secular music. Because the voice is good. You're wasting time because gospel is good, not making money. And I said, you know what? At the end of the day, I want to make God's man. That was what I wrote in 2009. You say now go for the magazine. You say nobody now gonna know you. If you sing, if you sing secular music, everybody I know, you know what you can sing, you know, you know, so he said to me, if you change some of the lyrics, I'm going to put girl. Just imagine if you say, girl, I want to make you start, you know, that's something that we have, big reggae song in Jamaica. And I choose Jesus. He said, next year, sir, I want the most award for the Caribbean, the English people in Caribbean. Ten. Because of that same album. And he said, when I went up a magazine, I've been in magazines over and over. And now, people, if you're going to the airport and you look at the big wall, you see my picture right beside you saying, I'm sure 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 one thing about faith is, faith does not see nothing in front of them, but faith is evidence of the things that you cannot see. 10% of your faith makes you work 90%. All you have to do is to believe like a mustard seed. And he wasn't talking about the real literal mountain. He was comparing the mustard seed with the big mountain. Yes. And if you have the belief of 10%, you can move 90% of things. Amen. So when you're walking, walk with confidence. We should be the head Amen. and not the tail. If you're there at school, you're supposed to be at the top of your class. If you're there at your work, you're supposed to be at the end. We are kingdom people. We need to start walk like we are. We don't have no money, I'm poor. Walk with confidence, believing that you are somebody because you serve the man who make the man yes. who make money. Amen. So this song, I want to sing this. Hallelujah Amen. to the King. Amen. That's the highest praise that we can give. Amen. I come this now to say thank you, King. Your love is a part of my life for my years. The love reaches way down deep within. It passes human understanding. There will always be a song for you to sing. One word alone just can't express my heart's desire.
guys. Hallelujah. I hope that you will be left. You will leave this place being empowered. 